morning guys, it's Ashley and Macy with the Passionate Penny Pincher and we are getting ready for Christmas. It's coming whether we're ready or not, right? So, um, normally I'm working and focus on other things and at the very last minute I'm always like, oh, we need to have some cinnamon rolls for breakfast morning. And I call around and stop places and there's never any cinnamon rolls to be found. So. I am taking care of it this morning so that I don't have to do that this year. So today we are making almost homemade cinnamon rolls. My crew loves some cinnamon rolls, right Macy? Yes. yes. So it's just kind of like our staple on Christmas morning. Um, if not, we have resorted to donuts because mom has been a little late on that one. So anyway, as you guys are hopping on this morning, what is like, the one thing that you or your family or your kids look forward to eating Christmas morning. My kids usually pause enough to wolf down a cinnamon roll and get a drink of chocolate milk or orange juice or apple juice or whatever um, before we enjoy Christmas together. So we're gonna take care of these and then I'm gonna freeze them until Christmas morning. And um, I'll put them in the fridge Christmas Eve, probably and then Christmas morning I'll just pop them in the oven to warm them put the um, icing over top and they will be delicious okay so as you guys are hopping on tell me good morning good morning Sharon and Teresa from Connecticut and Lisa thanks for hopping on guys okay and Tammy good morning okay um, my friend Alice is gonna link the recipe super easy you guys do not overthink this it is so easy Macy is nine, almost 10. You guys, she could totally handle this by herself. I know she could, but we're gonna work together because we love to bake together, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so um, I got a Rhodes loaf of bread, left it out overnight. It proofed up pretty well. Um, so we are going to just dump this. Do, 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 do. We are gonna dump this on my little rolling sheet, okay? And you want to um, roll it out to about a 12 by 14 inches is what the, um, you want to do that one? Um, what the directions say. So we just need to um, get this to roll out for us. Um, I can't believe I'm going to have this out of the way, you guys. <laughs> I'm behind in many other areas, but we are not missing cinnamon rolls this year. I am stoked to have these. Um, gonna have these done. Yeah. And we're gonna take probably I, I got I laid out three loaves, you guys. I'm gonna make three batches of this today. I'll only make one with you guys on live. You don't wanna sit and listen to me talk that long. But anyway, um we are gonna take some of these to my parents' Christmas and eat with them and then we'll eat them again Christmas morning. So there's never too many cinnamon rolls, right? Macy, here, you wanna keep going? Let me see. Good morning. Good morning, Victoria. Thanks for hopping on. We appreciate it. So basically, um, what you guys need, you need one loaf of um, frozen bread. Rhodes is like our absolute favorite. You can do, you know, Kroger brand, Meyer brand, whatever you want to do. And then you need five tablespoons of butter or margarine, five tablespoons of sugar, three, tablespoons, I think, I hope I said that right, five tablespoons of sugar, and then three teaspoons of cinnamon. Roll it up, cut it, put it in a buttered baking dish, let them rise for one to two hours, and bake them. You guys can handle this, don't overthink it. It's really not that hard, I promise. And then for the frosting, um, we'll do a cup of powdered sugar, one tablespoon of milk, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. So super, super simple. You guys can do this. The bread loaf looks yummy. Keep in your prayers for the pot of pop. Oh. Joe Helen, oh my goodness, I am so sorry to hear that. We will be praying for you. That is awful. Try to get it to be a rectangle. Helena, thank you. We need all the tips we can get. Trust me. We just wing it most of the time. So I appreciate it. So she's gonna roll this out. You're doing good. Keep going, girly. Look at you. Yay! Careful, it's gonna start to stick. Here, let me. She says, get it to a rectangle. I'm gonna do my best to get this to be a rectangle. Look at you. 
there's my dog. I, you probably can't see her. She smells the dough. It obviously smells good, right? She's coming over to check us out this morning. My little puppy. Baby. Hi, girly. Okay. Get this rolled out. And then Macy is going to spread the five tablespoons of butter. And I've let it, it's a little bit easier if you let that sit out or soften um, to some extent. And mine's been out all morning. I've been running around here like a chicken with my head cut off. But that's for the norm, especially this time of year. So, all right, Macy. Hold on, you know what? This is just a little bit thick right here. Let's get these rolled out. And that looks a little bit thick right there, girly. We're gonna have some thick. All of my kiddos are home from school. We've started break. One of my kiddos has had 104 fever for seven days now. Bless his little heart. We got some meds yesterday, so I am praying that we, uh, he seems like he's turned a corner this morning. So I'm praying that that's a really, really good news since he got his meds yesterday. So anyway, there's always something. Okay, Mace, if you want to spread the five tablespoons of butter, just use that knife. And she is going to, yay, just kind of, um, don't cut through the dough, Macy, but just, hold on, just say. Should be soft enough. You know what? Leave it on there, sweet girl, and then we can just kind of go from there. Okay? Sorry, I didn't give you too, too much direction. Mom's kind of crazy this morning. Let me see what you guys are saying. Hope you guys, to Helen, thank you so much. You're okay, but you have generators. Oh my gosh, what a blessing. What a blessing. I'm so glad that you have those. I'm glad I'm catching this today. I'm excited. I bought those aprons and they came back. Jolene, do you love your apron? This is my first time wearing it today. Obviously, I saw the wrinkles in it, but I was like, I have to wear my apron today. They are so wonderful. So wonderful. They feel good. They um, haven't washed you yet, but Lori says that they wash well, but we are so excited about these aprons. I love them. I was like, oh, I've got to wear my apron today. So anyway. Southern Ohio, yum, absolutely. Oh my goodness. My kids love, 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 love cinnamon rolls. I mean, what is there not to love about a cinnamon roll, right? Right? Okay, so Macy is gonna keep going on that. And then we are gonna sprinkle um, the cinnamon and sugar over top of this. And then we are going to roll it and then um, just slice it. And I am gonna put mine in a um, nine by 13 pan. I've sprayed it. And like I said, um, I'm gonna make two more of these when we're done. So um, yeah, I'll probably have to pull out another pan or two. Um, and then I'm gonna let them rise and we'll stick them in the oven. So yeah, it'll be super awesome. I will be so excited to have these done and I won't be looking last minute for some cinnamon rolls. Good morning, Laura. Thank you for hopping on this morning. We are so excited you are here with us. Are you going, girl? That's a lot of butter. Butter, butter, butter. I'm gonna help you. Because that is some butter. But this is what's gonna make them so yummy in the middle. It's gonna be all caramelly. And delicious. And if you guys want to, I'm assuming, I've never done this, but I'm just thinking out loud, um, you could make them Christmas Eve and probably stick them in the refrigerator and then let them come to room temp for a little bit and then pop them in the oven and have hot fresh rolls um, Christmas morning too. Um, my crew would not, they're pretty impatient Christmas morning. So I am very thankful that I'm doing them now and I can just pull them out of the oven or out of the freezer and uh, pop in the oven. So anyway, we are nice and buttery. And then Macy, I will take your knife and then if you want to sprinkle the sugar and the cinnamon on that for me, 
That would be fantastic. Go, girl, go. You can take it, you can sprinkle it, you can whatever you want to do. You are making our Christmas cinnamon rolls this morning, girly. You are helping your mama out. And they are going to be delicious. You guys, nuts, raisins, yes. That sounds amazing. Um, Helena, I would love, um, I like nuts. So I would love to put nuts in. My kids wouldn't like that. <laughs> At some point, you kind of just have to surrender to all the things that you like because it just doesn't roll that well. So, okay. So then we are going to mix this up a little bit. You know what makes me where I found just a little bit more sugar, or sugar, cinnamon, just in the spots where you didn't sprinkle it. Okay. Now, we are going to, yeah, you can mix it in. You got it, girly. These are your cinnamon rolls that you're making for us. I'm putting you to work today, not me. Okay, that's good. That's just the butter, okay? All right, and then we are going to just take these guys. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit more cinnamon right here, sweetie. Just a sprinkle, just a sprinkle. Yeah, if you guys want to add in stuff, please feel free. Now would be the point to add in any extras. Hold on. I'm trying to think, am I rolling it the right way, you guys? I think I'm rolling. Am I rolling it the right way? Oh my goodness. Yes, we'll be good. Like really, truly. It's gonna be hard to not eat the. <laughs> okay. And then, roll. oops, I'm sorry, I just stepped on your foot, Macy. Okay. We are going to kind of seal these off just a bit so that we don't lose all the goodies out. And then, we are going to, and you can make them however big you wanna make them, guys. Um, The ends are always so funky, aren't they? We eat them, don't we? We don't have a problem eating them. They just always end up funky, I feel like. Got to do a real gentle girl, okay? And these will rise, so I'm gonna leave a little bit of space in between them. Um, and they'll also rise um, in the oven too. So they will definitely get bigger, okay? So make sure you leave a little bit of room for these guys to expand. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Probably about two more mace. Like and then the really funky end one. You want to stick them, just stick them somewhere. Use dental floss to cut Samantha. I have never done that, but that is genius. Yes, I'm rolling the right way. Makes them fatter. Thank you. I like big, fat, chunky cinnamon rolls. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I got the other. I see you have more. I have, I have thought about using brown sugar because I hear it makes them like nice and caramely too. So if you want to put some brown sugar on it, you guys, put some brown sugar on it. Make them your own. It's Christmas. You guys make them your own. This is the way my kids like them. I'm not going to change it up too much. Um, you know what? I'm going to make two more batches in a little bit. I may throw some brown sugar on one. Just try it. It'll be a taste test. I'll see which one my kids like better. They can have one on um, Grandma and Grandpa's Christmas. Then they can have one Christmas morning. Or I'll make them see which one they like the best, right? Okay, so we're going to let these rise. And then I will bake them um, 350 for 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure they don't get super dark, but I do want them done in the middle. And then... Um, once they've cooled, you are, I'm going to mix a cup of powdered sugar, a tablespoon of milk, and a teaspoon of vanilla, and just make a nice glaze. And then um, probably while they're just like slightly warm, I'll dump them over top, and my um, crew will be ready to eat them. So, yeah! Let us know. Brown sugar is so yummy. Yes, you guys are, you are um, convincing me that I need to try the brown sugar. So we may um, sprinkle a little bit on the other ones, and we'll see if we can tell the difference. So... Anyway, how long do you let them rise for? Uh, Christina, about one to two hours. 
um, they will rise and then also they will also rise a little bit more in the um, oven too when you cook them. So um, let them rise one to two. My friend Alice has popped the link for the recipe um, in the comments. So if you scroll through there, um, she's popped it in there probably two or three times already. So if you guys want to make these and make Christmas morning super, super easy, make them, freeze them, just pull them out or make them the night before, stick them in the fridge and then bake them in the morning. You guys should be good to go, okay? Um, you guys have a wonderful day. Make something yummy for dinner tonight and we will see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.